Hey guys, welcome back to Hagat Sam, my YouTube channel. It has been a really, really, really long time since I last posted a video. And as you can see, a few things are a little different. I obviously have got blonde hair now, which I've had for pretty much the whole summer. Hopefully you like it, let me know your opinion, be nice. Um, so basically this video is just going to be a quick information giving video and explaining how I got from my natural hair colour which was jet black to this sort of white blonde colour. So I um, I have already got a video um, from black to blonde hair in three days um, posted on YouTube which has been widely received quite well but personally I feel like after that, I said in the video that my hair was healthy and it was at that time, but then for months later my hair was just awful, so to be honest, I wouldn't follow that, whereas this time I've done it in a lot more healthy way, even though it took a lot longer. So basically what I did was, I had grown out all my coloured hair, which is what I've been doing in my other videos if you are subscribed and you watch those and um, I was back to my natural hair colour it was completely like this about this length and I got an iron bleach from Sally's in and took a 30 volume developer and what I did first was I got but this is also my new sort of uni location, so this is the backdrop for my videos. Um, so basically what I did first was I got coconut oil. I used the KTC 100% pure coconut oil. And again, it should always be, well, in the UK it's usually white and solid because it's cold here. But in warmer countries it, it could potentially be a liquid, but it should be really clear. And the clearer it is, the more pure form that the coconut oil is. So I literally got that, saturated my hair from root to tip, got the ion bleach, mixed it with a 30 volume developer, which I got from Sally's or Salon Services, and um, slapped that all over my head, left it on for an hour, and it came out a really, really like bright yellow colour, which I've had in the past. And... Um, in my last video, when that happened, I toned it and toned it and toned it for loads and loads of times for no reason, when it just went at that stage where it could be toned, if that makes sense, it wasn't light enough. So I left that for a whole week, even though I had to go to work and everything, I didn't care. I just was like, I'm leaving it, I'm gonna do it the healthy way this time. I left it for a whole week um, and just didn't style it, did nothing with my hair at all. Then I saturated my hair with the coconut oil again, and unfortunately I ran out of the Sally's bleach so I used the bleach that I used last time, Jerome Russell bleach, and I mixed that with a 20 volume developer because it was already pretty light. So it was just yellow really, but I wanted obviously more of the yellowness to be gone and to be more of a pale blonde before I toned it. So I did all of that. I was happy with the colour and I was like a dark, and then I was decided that it was still quite yellow, not ready to be toned, so I'd slap over a nice and easy hair dye over on top of that. And I was really happy with the result and I'll insert a few pictures here. So as you can see, that was quite a natural blonde. It still had a few quite yellow tones in it, but it was still quite natural for me compared to the blonde that I have been in the past. And then following that, I left that for two weeks just because I was like, I've done so many processes on my hair and I don't want it to fall out and I don't want it to be damaged. So I left that for two whole weeks. In those two weeks, I was sleeping in deep conditioner, which had keratin infused in it. I will put the details all in the description box of what products I used to prevent my hair from getting dry. I was sat drinking coconut oil, almond oil, olive oil, black seed oil, any oil I was smushing it on my hair, any deep conditioner I was putting it on and sleeping in it overnight and then washing it and then not washing it for like three days and then doing that same thing again for two whole weeks and then I decided that I was fed up of that colour and I wanted it to go lighter to this colour today. So what I did was, I have got the boxes here today of these, because I literally just did it this morning. I got the L'Oreal Paris um, Extreme Platinum Preference, and I basically did my usual routine, soaked it in that coconut oil, saturated it completely, left it for four hours, and then slapped that on top of it. With the other bleaches that I have used, they go really yellow, whereas this one didn't. 
which was quite shocking because I did have like about an eighth of an inch of regrowth as well of my natural jet black hair colour, which is ridiculous because who cares about that regrowth. But um, yeah, so I, and it didn't actually turn it orange, it just turned it blonde. It was like a it was very it was like a pale pale yellow blonde. It says on the back that it has got anti brass technology in it, so maybe that helped. Who knows? I don't. People who are wondering about purchasing this, this it says it's in like the hair dye aisles in like Boots and Superdrug, but personally I don't feel like it's a hair dye. I think it's just a bleach, because anything that says it will lighten your hair up to eight levels. It's a bleach, and you have like lightning powered. They put lightning instead of bleaching, but um, I just it's bleach basically. And yeah, so if you don't want to bleach your hair, then that's not for you. But if you want something that's a lot gentler than like just harsh bleach, then this will work. Because with the other bleaches that I did, my scalp did feel like quite itchy whilst it was on. Whereas here, I got no irritation at all. I'll definitely be using that again because. There was no burning. Do you know, anyone who's bleached hair will know that burning feeling. Well, not burning, but like itching feeling. And with this, I didn't get anything. So I was like, that's fine. And it lifted it without taking me through like an orange route or anything like that. So I was quite happy. Then after that, I was in a pale yellow sort of colour. And I'll insert a picture if I can find one. And then what I did was, because now where I'm living, I live right across the road from Sally's, which is so convenient, but bad for my bank balance. And what I did was pick up a Weller toner. I got the, well, I didn't know what to really get really, so I asked the lady in the store, and she was really kind, and she literally checked me around and was like, this one will do, because I said I wanted like quite white blonde, or like with a few silver tones, and she said that this would do. It's the Weller Silver Toner 06 and it's colour fresh. Literally, you wash your hair as you would, towel dry it and then leave it to like air dry for about five minutes. While it's still damp, you take some of that with gloves on and put it from root to tip, saturate it. It comes out like a really medium lilac sort of colour and you're thinking, oh my god, what have we done because it's going to go lilac. But it actually, and then you leave that on, and I left mine for 20 minutes. It does say anywhere between 5 and 20 minutes. Um, and then I literally just rinsed it out, and I got this colour that you can see today, which is quite light. My hair feels, I'm not going to lie, a little bit dry. But I've expected that, to be honest, because obviously I've put bleach on it, and I've toned it, and then I've heat styled it. So it does feel a little dry, but I'm hoping that in the coming week, I'll continue with my coconut oil, almonds, all my oils, and I'll continue with my other deep conditioners that I'll get, the condi it doesn't feel damaged, it just feels dry, so I'll just put moisture back in it, and hopefully, fingers crossed, it should be fine. So obviously that was a really lot, a lot of information to give in such a short video, but if you have any, I just wanted you guys really to just see my new hair colour, but if you have any questions about how I got to this colour, any advice, if you're lightening your hair at home, you need advice on toners, bleaches, how to protect your hair, anything like that, feel free to write in the comment section below. I think you do have to tick something on your own profile which allows me then to be able to reply to you because YouTube have changed the settings or something like that. So if you do that, I will reply to you or I will reply in my next video. Just because if you take into the time to write, then I will take the time to answer. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video.